And up next, we'll see Jalen Hurts. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Eagles and the Falcons on Monday night primetime. Philadelphia is known for having some very vocal fans, and nearly 70,000 of them are letting their voices be heard already. Welcome inside Lincoln Financial Field. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career. to Bradley Penny and to get this one going. And we're underway from Philadelphia. This return starts at the five. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Now after the play, we have somebody shaken up. That's Jahan Dotson in some distress as they come out to look at him. So their offense out now to get this game started. It's first and ten. Straight to the air they go. And his game will begin with an incomplete pass. Tough one to retain through that hit. So that brings up second down. They run it with Saquon Barkley. So this one goes against the offense. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. Here we go, second and very long. He's got Brown on the slant. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Wonder what's in the playbook here as they come up on third and 11. Hurts now from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. They touch him down, but a great pickup, and it's good for a first. Hurts throwing again. Barkley's got it. Jukes one defender. That play good for 17 and a first down. Something out of nothing, Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. First and 10. Here's Hurts. The Falcons getting close, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Barkley on the shotgun handoff. And he gets it through the midfield stripe and onto the Falcon side of the field. Couple yards there on second down, and now a long ways to go on third. Shotgun snap for Hertz. Able to get it to Barkley. And they get this down to the 28. Now a pause to attend to an injured player, and this is a worrying sight. It is Saquon Barkley who was hurt on the play. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. Now a shotgun handoff to Gainwell. And he gets this forward to the 19. The right call came in at the right time. Give him nine yards and a successful conversion on four. They're now set for first and ten. From the pistol, Hurts. Cut near the goal line. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. On 
On the play fake, it's Hurts. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! The Eagles finish up an excellent opening series. What an outstanding opening series, partner. They just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone. Yeah, it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown, but it showed just how well designed that script was. It was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone, getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. So here are the Falcons out on offense for their first drive. And leading them out in his 13th season out of Michigan State is Kirk Cousins. And all those touchdowns he had last week, Kate, he traded every one of them in exchange for a victory. It's team over individual for him. So even though he himself is coming off the exact type of showing you want, that kind of efficiency usually wins you games. He's not happy about it. And he will be focusing on rectifying those things here. Broke the plane before the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. Still first down. Encroachment on that previous play, and that makes this a much shorter first and five. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. Able to hit Robinson complete. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Play action now for Cousins. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. So the officials are officially on board tonight. For the first time a flag flies, somebody moved early. One of the most common penalties in the sport. And the reaction, it's the same every time, Brock. Frustration from the coach as they get backed up five yards. Running it after the penalty. And he'll take this up to around the 29-yard line. Only one yard on the run. They're going to need to pull a rabbit out of the hat rock on this third and very long. Out of the gun, Cousins. Finds his man en route complete. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. So with the Falcons set to punt on fourth, on comes Bradley Pinion. He punted a couple of times last week in their loss, and now gets this one away. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Here's a give inside to Gainwell. And he's brought down after a short game. Just a gain of one, and that brings up second and nine. They stick with Gainwell. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. Operating from the gun. Here's Hertz. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. Now on fourth down, on comes Braden Mann to boot this away for the Birds. Deep for the Falcons, Ray Ray McLeod. He was only needed twice in last week's win, and he gets this one away. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. That punt goes unanswered, no return there. And the Falcons will take over. First down throw for Cousins. Got a man, it's Drake London. Escapes a defender. 
And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. One play in, and already they're close to midfield. Before the snap, some early movement. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. So they'll only need five now after that neutral zone infraction penalty. Working from the gun, it's Cousins. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 43. And he works this to the 38 before going down. Pick up a five on that play. And it's good for an Atlanta first down. Now Cousins again. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. That's the end of our first quarter. Three more to go still on Monday night. Neither side separating much so far. We'll return to the lead. Back for our second quarter. It's Falcons football. They have second and pretty long here. Shotgun snap, a give to Robinson. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. They'll get six on the run, but still need twice that now. Third and 12 coming up. Back to throw, Cousins. Throw came out right as the defense got to him. That's an incomplete pass. Now punted away again. Bradley Kenyon headed back out. This is away, and once again, he's caught all of it. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. The Eagles ready to set up shop on offense. First down throwing for Hurts. He fires one deep down the middle. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. Hurts looking to throw. And he goes down. The Falcons got to him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Here's Hurts. He has the first over the middle. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first down, Hurts. Able to find Gainwell. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. From the gun, a give to Gainwell. And he works his way for a gain of four. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, it's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. This one snagged by Dallas Goddard. And he scores! It's a Philadelphia touchdown! Touchdown! You love seeing a tight end get the chance to show off those wheels right, and in the best of cases, he can rumble the whole way home. Kate, think of getting somebody with that type of mass rolling at full speed. Who's really going to want to stand in the way, wants to stop him anyhow? The answer, nobody. That one right down the middle, and they'll continue adding to their lead. It's all set for the kickoff. On the return, here's Ray Ray McLeod. He's got a lane up past the 30. And he manages the 35 before they can stop him. The Falcons in good field position here as they start out first and 10. 
Cousins out of the pistol here. Finds London on the slant. And he'll get it up to the 44. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. Third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He'll dump this one off to his running back, complete. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Bradley Kenyon on down to punt. And he's hoping for a well-placed strike. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a 64-yard punt officially. And the Eagles will be backed up a good bit to begin the drive. Hurts setting up to throw. Hits his man on the out route. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play. To keep driving that defense backwards. Rolling into enemy territory. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've... And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles. Zip lead. A.J. Brown, the touchdown. So an absolutely beautiful throw there, finding his man in space who turns it into six. Yeah, they really took advantage there, Kate, of some soft coverage. You want that on that corner route. Plenty of space for that route to develop. Great execution, and it pays off with the touchdown. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. Returning it from the four. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1. And make your case for who should get a boost. Throwing again on second and ten. Cousins. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Throwing his cousins. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground. Incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. The Falcons getting ready for the punt. He sends this away. And oh, this is going to be a field flipper. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. The Eagles and quarterback Jalen Hurts. They're out and set. First and ten. Hurts now from the gun. Look, the Falcons getting close and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Trying again, following the sack. He throws a bullet to the center. Wow, his first real mistake. That's intercepted. That's Justin Simmons. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about.
Well, no surprises here. They decline the holding call and hang on to the interception. New set of downs for him at the 38. From the gun, it's Robinson. And there was really nowhere to go there. Just a small push to the 37. It's the two-minute warning now from the link. It's the Falcons. Lined up with a second and eight. From the 37. Short pass caught by his tight end. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. And the birds bring out the nickel. Look, third down coming up. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Cooper to Gene in to pick it off. And the Eagles are going to have it after his second interception of the season. You know what this is, Kate? This is the practice field coming to life. Really on both sides of the ball. Well, you watch defensive coaches preach all the time, and they work on these returns to get to the near sideline, everybody to get a block, and then for those offensive players to show the effort to go chase that down so it's not a pick six. Yeah, it stinks for the offense, but that was the practice field coming to life for everybody to see. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He's looking to throw. He's got it. Room to run. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. The early returns on the stat sheet have been good so far, partner. He's off to the exact kind of start they were hoping he'd have. Yeah, you can just feel the rhythm, the timing, the tempo. And that ball is zipping all over the field. Pass caught by Gainwell. And they get this down to the 10-yard line before going down. It's a double-digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. I'm sure Coach Play Caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Got it. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flat. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. So now after being backed up just a bit, another first and goal. Operating from the gun. Here's Hertz. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles boat racing them to the halftime locker room. It's a Devontae Smith touchdown. And that, Brock, I know you're keeping track, but just in case our audience is at his fourth first half passing touchdown. At the pace he's on, this would be a new record if he has a second half to match this one. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Drive starts out with a first and 10. The Falcons with the football late in the first half. First down throw for Cousins. He'll get this complete to Pitts. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. Into traffic, complete! And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 48. He'll get this complete to Mooney. And he goes down a little short of the 40. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Now Cousins again. That's brought in by Mooney. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. 
Working from the gun, it's Cousins. And down he goes, the Eagles got him! The Falcons take a timeout to their final one. This drive in some serious trouble, it's third and 12. Out of the gun, Cousins. He's gonna get this complete to his running back. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. So now on fourth down, the Falcons electing to send Young Gui Ku after the field goal. Ball on the left hash, the distance 53 yards. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. We're at halftime here in Philadelphia, and the Eagles have soared to a lead at the break. Now we'll send you down the East Coast to Orlando. Turn things over to our buddy Jonathan Coachman in the EA Sport. Not everyone's a fan of the out-of-town scoreboard. We'll keep our focus right here. Let's get back to football with a start in the second half. It's all set for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Here's the Falcon offense headed out. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them, really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life, there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And we'll see what they do here on second down. To the air, Cousins. Throw reeled in by London. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. All plays on the table here for third and three. Here's Cousins. Complete beyond the marker. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. He'll throw it yet again. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't find Kyle Pitts on that throw. And now they face second down. Robinson on the inside give. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Here's Cousins now. And there's a man there. It's intercepted. Cooper to Gene in to pick it off. And the Eagles get the football as he makes his third interception of this season. Well, obviously not the cleanest game without two interceptions, but here's the key. This is where mental toughness for a quarterback becomes so critical. And frankly, why some of the best QBs playing today have baseball in their background, because you flush your mistakes. Okay, you strike out, you throw an interception, but you gotta go get it in that next series. Gotta put these interceptions behind and press forward ahead. The Eagles, ready for their next series, let out on offense by their quarterback. And our team in the truck putting these highlights together, well, they certainly had plenty of touchdowns to choose from. For them, actually. Though the way he's been playing, Brock. No, no, no. Eagles in a good spot here as they come up to the line, first and ten. No, no. Starting on the ground here with Barkley. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Here's another carry for Barkley. Pass the 20. And he's in for the big play touchdown. Oh, Brock, but there it is. Back down the field. We've got a flag, and I don't think this is going to count. But he's a block in the back. Offense. 
such an exciting play lost because of that penalty. And this offense now left to think of their next call as they make the long walk back down the field. They'll run here following the penalty. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. They're set up at the 35 now. Motion man right is Smith. Going to the ground again on first. And this one doesn't go far. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Staying between the tackles with Gainwell. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. Shotgun snap for Hertz. And he goes down. The Falcons got to him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that gives them a 28-point advantage. The wind was at a sales cape, and it certainly helped that football fly true and right down the middle. And from that distance, to hit with that accuracy is one impressive shot. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Out of the field runs the Atlanta offense. They are coming off their first interception of the game. This drive now a chance to rebuild some confidence. Pitts brings it in. They drop him with a big hit. At least he's able to hold on for the game. But boy, Brock, what a shot. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. They fake the handoff. Now Cousins. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. And the fumble recovery is made. Well, I think you know the only thing redeeming about that play, Kate. They got the ball back. Yeah, well done. Yeah, they got the ball back for a whole <laughs> lot longer down a distance. Third and long. It's Cousins. Got a man. Robinson has it. Breaks the tackle. Green grass ahead. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons shrinking the lead some in the third. It's a Bijan Robinson touchdown. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Now to kick it away, here's Pinion. On the return, Britton Covey. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. Philadelphia's offense back out for another drive. And you can see in these clips quite an extensive highlight reel he's put together in what is a four-touchdown game for him already. Yeah, I think it's safe to say this guy's in the zone. I know in hoops, sometimes shooters say that hoop looks and that basket looks enormous. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Straight ahead, here's Barkley. And he found some running room for a nice game. Good rip on first down. That brings up second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. They go to Barkley again. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. And it took a couple of guys to haul him down there after a gain of just one. 
You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. On second down, here's Barkley. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Barkley gets it on third down. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Hurts now from the gun. That's complete. Here's Brown. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Only one quarter of a Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Hurts to throw. That's into the hands of Barkley. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. I know that completion doesn't move the chains, but I love it nonetheless. You make sure that defense is aware of every eligible player going out. And this time it was out of the backfield with the running back that shows he's adept at catching it as well. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. Barkley trying this up the gut. And he'll pick up a little down to the 12-yard line. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Here's Hurts. On the move, headed right. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. Jalen Hurts with the touchdown. The fifth time he scored, putting him just one off that single game record. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. Okay? You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith. Right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Here's Atlanta ready to take over possession. And all game, they have struggled to attack this deficit. Maybe they can do a little window dressing here. Down the middle, complete. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there, that earns the holding penalty. That holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Shotgun snap now to Cousins. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Throwing his cousins. Fires over the middle. Caught. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Now it's Cousins. It's into the hands of Mooney. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Second down now, seven to go. Looking to throw, Cousins. Got a man over the middle, complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. 
That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. That one's complete to London. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Now Cousins again. Looking slant round, complete. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Yellow, yellow, yellow. They are throwing it again. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. Well, you got to have a short memory in the NFL. Incompletions happen. Now you've got to make the adjustment and go get the next one. That one's incomplete over the middle. No luck finding his receiver that time. And that brings up third and goal. Out of the gun, Cousins. And they will score. It's an Atlanta touchdown. The Falcons putting up points in a game decided. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just acting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them, and that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. So they tag him for roughing the kicker. And now this kickoff is going to come from the 50. Let's see if they loft it and try to stick him deep. And the onside kick doesn't pan out. The Eagles make the recovery. Well, I guess they kind of had to do it here, Brock. Yeah, that's cool to have to. Yeah, kind of have to at this point in the game, huh? Okay, but like most things in this game, it did not work out for them. Yeah, let's face it. Even if they do recover that, probably not going to find a way to win. But this is a time where you work on things, where you do build to the following week. Uh, find a way to flush this because it's just not been their kind of game. Operating from the gun. Here's Sertz. He's got Smith. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. And he has stayed productive throughout this game. He's up to the 300-yard mark after that last completion. Really has been a solid showing for him finding his targets. First and 10 from the 41. They're going to go with Barkley on the counter. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Well, we've talked about this before, Brock. The thinking is simple but effective. We'll stop getting it to this guy. Uh, when you find a way to stop it, and they have yet to do that today. You know there's just certain things up in this booth that I love. I think you could feel it emanating from me. And one of them is when you impose your will, and you don't back away from it. If they can't stop it, run it right at them. They run it with Saquon. And they've got him down near the red zone at the 22. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. Space to the left. And he's finally taken down at the seven yard line. And he's certainly given us a performance worthy of these primetime lights. This is now a 100 yard game that he's put together. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They're going to run with Barkley. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet. Have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. 